Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Uh, what we have here is a GE monogram refrigerator and the ice maker is not producing any ice. First thing we always do whenever you got an ice maker not working, just check the water through the door just to see what the pressure is like. This water pressure on here is pretty poor. so. That's definitely something we're going to want to rectify, but we'll check the ice maker first. The tools used for this repair was just a Phillips screwdriver, and I used a tack puller, but you can also use a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the door here, remove the ice bin. And we can see, actually, the ice maker's part of the eject or part of the rake not the actual ejector rake but the separator that separates the cubes as they come out got caught in the rake ripped off a couple there and this piece here is broken probably going to be all due to the low water pressure causing the small ice cubes to kind of get jammed up in the rake which in turn can, can break the internal components. So what we're gonna have to do is replace the ice maker. All right, so basically what we have is this piece is broken off the ice maker and it was binding up the rake, not letting the rake move. It's missing a couple pieces, one on the corner there and one right here. So the ice maker itself is gonna have to be replaced. Uh, what we've got are two Phillips screws that the ice maker itself is going to hang on and just the connector right here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove the connector here. There's tabs on either side. Pulls off. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and completely remove the two screws that the ice maker is going to hang on here. ice maker out and as you can see with the low water pressure the cubes that are in there they're gonna be very small I mean your cube should be you know all the way up at least three quarters of the way filling this uh, ice maker up so again we're gonna have to rectify the water pressure it's probably gonna be an issue with the saddle valve or the line that feeds the ice maker all right, so what we're gonna do is set the new ice maker side by side here. This is an IM6 ice maker. Comes kind of with a bunch of different pieces to fit a multitude of different units. So really the only thing that has to be changed over is the fill cup. Uh, we got the one out of the package that is similar, the same fill cup. Just go ahead, snap that into place. And uh, really the only difference between the new ice maker and the old ice maker, this one has a digital on off switch. And this one here has just basically like a sliding on off switch. The new ice maker is set to harvest instantly. So the second you plug this in to power, the ice maker rake is gonna basically start to rotate on you. So you want to make sure you get this mounted quickly. Otherwise it's going to fill with water and put some water in there and you're going to get water all over the freezer. So, all right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mount the ice maker up. Give it a few turns and then get your back one in. You just want to make sure your fill cup is uh, underneath the fill tube, which is in the back corner here, the little aluminum tube that's coming in. And like I said, uh, ideally you want to just get it mounted up first before you 
plug in your harness here because once you plug in your harness, it's gonna go through a harvest. So we got it mounted up. I'm go ahead and hook the harness in. And as this goes through a harvest, you'll see the lever arm kind of slide out. As you can see, the lever arm's kind of coming out here. The rake is making a rotation. Um, I believe this ice maker fills when the rake is right around the nine o'clock position. Okay, the ice maker has filled. So that's gonna complete the repair. Okay, so what you wanna do before you slide the ice bucket back in, the auger itself is gonna be kind of forked like this. So you wanna set them up opposite of one another. So if your auger is facing this way, I always put this up and down. So you can look and see the auger itself, how the fork is. So we're gonna set them up opposite. And you should feel the ice pin slide all the way in. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.